All right, so check this out. About two days ago, I'm at uh, Hollywood LA Fitness up on El Centro. <clears throat> Just get there, start my workout. Um, I'm on my last warm up set on bench, and this dude comes up to me, and I figure, you know, he's gonna ask me how many sets I got left on the bench or whatever, you know, like a normal person. Um, this skinny, white dude, young kid, younger than me anyway. <clears throat> and he comes up and he says, oh, yo, man. And he gives me a pound, fist pump. He's like, yo, man, can you help me out? Uh, I, I'm a fighter, I got a fight next week in Vegas. Uh, I'm looking for somebody to spar. You're a fighter, right? You fight? And I was like, oh, cool, yeah. I mean, at first it was like, Several different emotions. First, you're like, oh, cool. It's like ego, like, oh, this guy thinks I'm a fighter. So that's cool, right? And then I'm like, yeah, I could use some cardio. I could, haven't hit the bag in a while. Um, I could use a little training. And then I'm thinking like, you're a fighter and you have a fight in Vegas next week and you're walking around some random LA fitness looking for sparring partners. So that was like the first red flag and I was like, Thinking like, yeah, maybe, yeah, we could spar. I got, I just started my workout, so 45 minutes, you know. And he's like, yeah, I just need five seconds. I just need five seconds. And I'm thinking, you just need five seconds. So second red flag. Just need five seconds to spar. So I'm thinking, okay, this is, something's weird here, right? So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, you got a fight next week in Vegas, huh? Like, how come you don't train, like literally wild card boxing gym. Manny Pacquiao, Freddie Roach's gym is like, like a five, ten minute walk away from the LA Fitness I work at. It's like down the street. I'm like, how come you don't go down in the wild car? Oh, man, there's scammers down there. It's a scam gym. I'm thinking, oh, okay. Um, so then he's like, I'm, I'm 148 no. I'm 148 no. UBF, Underground Boxing Federation, Charlie Z, Charlie Z. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. So I don't think much of it. He points to a tattoo on his forearm and says, see, look, look, Charlie Z, the best. Like as if to prove... As if to prove he's the best. He shows me a tattoo on his forearm that says, Charlie Z, I'm the best. Um, so it was just weird. And I was like, okay, so yeah, 45 minutes, whatever. And he's like, you train, you box, you do this and that. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I've done some martial arts, and some boxing, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And uh, it was just bizarre, right? So whatever. Then I look and he's asking everyone else around the gym. And as soon as he walks away... Before that, I ask him, like, how hard do you go? I don't usually <clears throat> spar people I don't know. So how hard are you looking to go? Like 80%, 70%, 60%, 50%. He's like, yeah, yeah, we can, we can go 50% if you want. Yeah. You know, whatever. I'm the best. I'm the best. 40, 148 and 0. He's like, <laughs> this was the best part. Another good part. Do you know Deontay Wilder? I beat him. I beat him. I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm not a huge boxing fan, but Deontay Wilder, I'm thinking... Isn't that like a champ? Like, I feel like I've heard that name before. Like, isn't he like a heavyweight champ? And this skinny, like 145 pound kid is telling me he beat him. So I, I don't know for sure if I'm remembering correctly that that is the name of a heavyweight champ. Um, obviously when I got home, I, down to a while there, okay, he's a heavyweight champ. So there's more to the story. Um, what ends up happening is infamous.